Hello, Robert. How are you? Hi, teacher. Good How evening. Good evening. How are you today? I'm, I am a little tired, but okay. I'm fine. Thanks. Okay, that's good. Yes. One more day. One more day to finish the week. Do you work? Do you work on Saturdays? I work. Um, um, no, um, with Tigo. Mm -hmm. uh, I work Friday, and I work uh, every day. <laughs> okay, really. Saturday money, and Sunday. Money, money. Okay, yes. Saturday and the weekend too. Yes, and I, I, I come. I have clients, um, and I, I, I. ¿Cómo se dice? Yo les hago configuraciones. I con, I, uh, let's say I configure. I configure I their con, their systems. I configure the the systems. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. You set you set up right. You set up the systems. Mm -hmm. I'm set up the systems mm -hmm. and in router switching. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you you yeah. work in, but you work for companies. Yes. 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 Uh -huh. Not for houses. No, not for houses. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, because in no. company they have very large uh, systems, right? Yes, I I work um, eight years in. IBW. Oh yes, I heard about it. And um, the companies, me conocen? They know me. The companies they, know. The companies know me. Know me, and they call me for yes um, support or mm -hmm. configuration. Yes, I know. I know IB, IBW, right? Yes. I remember that I worked in a school before, and IBW provided the service of internet and Wi-Fi. Uh -huh. They were this. Oh. Uh, they have happy. They have the. Uh, yes, ha happy the happy. The part of uh, a resident residential no uh -huh. house for houses. Uh -huh. houses. Wi-Fi for houses. Mm -hmm. Wi-Fi for houses. That's yes. right, and. Um, then, uh, then I have an opportunity with Tigo, and I, in this moment, and you uh, move. I work for Tigo. Okay, very good. And for me. <laughs> and for you, yes. And that the end, yes, it's, it's more difficult, right? Because you have more work. There is no, there is no vacation. <laughs> when you when when you have your own company, it's very difficult. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, de, de, se, se van llevando las dos cosas. Yes, you have to go to balance, right? Okay, yes. very good, excellent. Hello, Carol. Okay. How are you, Carol? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Fine, fine. Happy? <laughs> so, so. <laughs> so, so. Okay, yes. very good. Nice, no problem. Okay, okay uh, Marilyn is here too. Marilyn, no problem. Everything okay? Yes. Except the the internet. But we can talk to Robert. Robert can fix that problem. Okay. And let's see. Freddy? Hi, teacher. How are you, Freddy? Everything is okay right now. How's the university? So so. so I have so. To, to yeah, I have to study a lot for yeah. tomorrow. This. You have a test tomorrow. Yeah. Oh my the god. Hardest, the okay. hardest is semester. My goodness. Good luck. Like yeah, say, break you. break a leg. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Los, los bailarines, en vez de decirse buena suerte, dicen break a leg, que te rompa una pierna. Right, because it's a way to say good luck. Okay, and then Flora? How are you, Flora? Good evening. Hi. I am okay. 
Okay, very good. Nice. Excellent. Okay, people, let's uh, see what we have for today. Mm. Here we go. Yes, this is the one that we have. Last night we were practicing with there is and there are, remember? And we were talking about uh, directions, locations. I will repeat, I will repeat the, the last video just for, for us to connect with the topic again. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We're having experience in some um, sound problems. Here we go. Come back to another session. This time we'll learn to ask if there is or not a particular place in town. We'll go over prepositions of place which will help us give directions. In this session participants will learn how to ask and answer questions with there is, there are, one, any and some. There is, there are, one, any, some. Is there a laundromat near here? Yes, there is. There's one across from the shopping center. No, there isn't, but there's one next to the library. Are there any grocery stores around here? Yes, there are. There are some nice stores on Pine Street. No, there aren't, but there are some on 3rd Avenue. No, there aren't any around here. Prepositions. On. Next to. Near. Close to. Across from. Opposite. In front of. In back of. Behind. Between. On the corner of. If you want to know if there is a place near you, we do it by saying, is there a near here? Of course, the answer will depend on if there is or not. You may answer yes there is, or no there isn't. If your answer is yes there is, you may continue by saying, yes there is, there is one next to the gas station. Prepositions of place. Let's go over the prepositions by looking at the map. The post office is on Main Street. The gas station is next to the public library. The shopping center is close or near the public library. The telephone booth is across from the gas station. <coughs> the plaza is in front of the post office. The electronics store is behind or at the back of the post office. The plaza is between First National Bank and the grocery store. The gas station is on the corner of First Avenue. Make sure you practice and understand each preposition of place. All right. Teacher, I have yes, a question. Uh -huh. uh, can, I, can I pronounce behind instead of behind? That's correct, no problem. Uh, behind is in the north of the United States, Chicago, uh, you know, in this area of uh, more to the north, right? In that uh, sometimes in New York, New York also some people use behind instead of behind. It's, it sounds more with more cache, right? When you say behind, behind and behind is in the south, it's al sur. Yes, but no problem. They perfectly understand. Okay, so then this is what we, uh, where we stopped last night. And here we have, uh, let's say, take a look at the map, read the questions and choose the right place according to the directions given, right? So here we have, The first one is, is there a library, hotel, or park near here? Then we have to, I don't know, then being este Hotel. 
Excuse me, Robert. Está preguntando por un hotel. Ah, eh, dice, yes, there is one. Eh, hay que ver la dirección para ver de qué estamos hablando, right? It's on the corner of Elm Street and Maple Street. Entonces, quiero ver. Yo no, ya no veo ahí. Let me see. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> ok. Oh, ya me alegré, no soy solo yo. Right? It's not only me. Wait, ok. Aquí. Ok, aquí podemos ver. La dirección que nos preguntan es... On the corner of Elm Street and Maple Street. Ok, Elm Street, well, Maple Street and Elm Street. ¿Qué tenemos acá? Eh, Frank's Café oh. and the Kim Plaza Hotel, ¿correct? Ok, pero yeah. veamos, en the options que nos dan aquí. ¿Cuál de las entonces sería como decía Robert es un hotel hotel uh -huh. ok entonces decimos is there, aquí estamos usando el elimination process porque aquí en la esquina de Elm de Elm en, Maze, en Maple Street está el King Plaza en de Plaza en de Café right Frank's Café pero en las opciones que están aquí only the library the hotel and the park then obviously is the hotel. Okay, the next one. Is there a, ah, around here? Yes, there is one. It's next to Prince's Grocery Store. Next to Prince's Grocery Store. What is next to Prince's Grocery Store? A bank. A bank, let's see. Let's see the options. There we have, okay, the bank. All right. Is there a bank near here? Yes, there is one, there is. There is one on Main Street behind Parker's Drugstore, okay? So this is, no, 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 no. I'm reading really, number three. Uh, yes, there is one. It's next to Princess Grocery Store. This is the one. Number three. There is one on Main Street behind Parker's Drug Store. What place is it? Department store. The department store. This one? Main Street. And we have the farm store. Okay. Good. Okay, let's see. Uh, Urania, can you read the number five? Only the answer, solo la respuesta. Number, perdón, number four. Only the answer. No, the uh, reason. La respuesta. Ajá, solo la respuesta, yes. Uh, mm -mm. Porque ahí en la aquí en la respuesta está la clave. No, there isn't. No, solo lea la respuesta que está aquí. Uh, ok. No, there isn't, but there is one of, on First Avenue uh -huh. and Main Street. Ok, on First Avenue and Main Street. What do we have on First Avenue and Main Street? Hay como tres cosas, right? Gas station, the post office, post office. and the park. Okay. And here we have. Gas station. Ajá, uh -huh. then is the gas station. Okay, pudo ser cualquiera de las otras tres, pero aquí 
aquí nos solicitan the gas station. Then the question is, is there a gas station on Pine Street? No, there isn't. But there is one on First Avenue and Main Street. Okay? Entonces, la clave de este ejercicio es ver la respuesta, right? To see what is the place that we are looking for. Good. Uh, Arely, read the number five, please. Only the answer. Lea la respuesta nada más. No. Here. Pero algo bien lejos. Bien, eh? uh -huh. Ok, bien. Pero se le oye lejos algo. No sé si el volumen, pero sí se le alcanza a oír, pero, pero bien bajo. Ok, then we have, there are some nice stores on Pine Street. Nice stores on Pine Street. Which one? Which one could it be? Okay. Listen, teacher. Yes, now better. Now it's better. Okay, it says, are there on Main Street? No, there aren't. There are some, some nice stores on Pine Street. Okay, here we have. Pine Street, all this. We have, what do we have? Mm. Uh, top Shoes, Parker's Drugstore. Uh, what is this one? Mom and Pop's Grocery, Princess Grocery Store, and the First National Bank. Now, Freddy, what would be your answer? Uh, hotels, public libraries, or grocery stores? I didn't pay attention to huh? Okay, okay. Okay. No problem. Grocery no. stores. Grocery stores. Then uh -huh, it says, are there, uh, are there grocery stores on Main Street? No, there aren't. There are some nice stores on Pine Street. Because if you see here, this is Pine Street, but we have top shoes, it's only one. A, Gross, a Parker drugstore is only one. Bank is only one. Then the grocery stores, we have one here and one here. Is the plural, okay? So the answer is grocery stores. Good. Okay, Carol, read the answer in the number six. This one. <clears throat> okay. Near here, near, near here. Mm -hmm. Yes, there is, isn't between the post office and one day's department store. Okay, it's between the post office and all day's department store. Oops. Wait, what did I do? I pull it out. Wait a minute. Your green. Okay. okay. Then again. Joe okay, so Jim. which one? Joe's, Joe's, Joe's Jim. 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 Joe's Jim. Joe's Jim. Mm -hmm. Let's see if it is correct. The gym. Huh? It's the gym. Is there a gym near here? Yes, there is. It is between the post office and other department store. <clears throat> Good. 
Okay, Robert, read the answer here to the number seven. Vision First Avenue across from, from shopping center. Okay. Let me see. Let me see. It's across from shopping center. Mm -hmm. What do we have? Avenues across shopping. Shopping, shopping. Oh. The shopping center is here. Fifth shopping Avenue center. Ah, shopping yeah. Center. Uh, es al final, verdad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Electronics. Electronics. Okay, is there? Electronic store. Mm. Electronic. Electronic store? Mm -hmm. Yes, on First Avenue, across from. Across from shopping center. Yes. Frank. Uh, yeah, let me see, First Avenue Shopping Center. Electronic. Okay. Si es esa, hay un errorcito acá. Because debería ser an, porque comienza con electronic. Ah, okay. okay. And you can say, there, is there an electronic store? Because it did this, right? Okay. 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 But it's okay. No problem. Ese ya es error de acá, no, no de lo que estamos hablando. Good. Okay. Number eight. Uh, Suli, can you read the uh, number eight here? Yes, there's. Okay. Um, yes, there is. There is the corner, the corner, the main street, and the first avenue. Yes, there is. There is. There is one. I guess one uh, on the corner. One on the corner of main of main street. And First Avenue. And First Avenue. Okay. Sure. Yes. Main Street is calle principal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, Main Street. That's correct. Mm -hmm. So Main Street and Second Avenue. Second Avenue here. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay, Main Street and Second Avenue. The park. Uh, no, it's uh, Main Street and First Avenue. Uh, in First Avenue, yes, it, I think it's the same. It's the park. Mm -hmm. right. oh, no, no park. No park. Faith there is home. one on the corner of Main. Ah, okay, it could be the pay, the pay from here. Pay from. Mm -hmm. Como eso ya no los ocupamos acá, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ya, ya lo desechamos. Hmm. Hey, pay from. Yes. Ni se acuerdan ustedes de eso. No. What is yes, corner, teacher? teacher? Ah, you do. <laughs> huh? <laughs> what is corner? Corner. Yes. Esquina. Esquina. Ah, okay. It's corner, right? It's corner. Okay, good. Number nine. Uh, number nine, let's see. Joel, read the answer in number nine. Wait a moment. No, okay, no I problem. can see it, the answer. This one? Can you say it better? Number nine. Is there, uh, yes, there is one next, next to a gas station. Okay, there is one next to a gas station. What is next to the gas station? The public library. The public yeah. public library. Okay, here's the public library. Very good, excellent. Okay, Freddie, read the last one, number ten. Uh, okay, no, there aren't. There are some on the Maple Street. No, there aren't. There are some on Maple Street. Maple, Maple. Where is Maple Street? We have, okay, here. Maple. Ah. Uh. 
some. Okay, let's see the options. Restaurant. Restaurant. Restaurants. But there is only one, right? Franks. Ah, no, no, no. There are two. Okay. Uh -huh. This is. Restaurant. This is Rome's. Uh -huh. Probably, probably they consider France Cafe as a restaurant, maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is made for... Yes, it's the restaurant. Uh-huh. This is one and two. That's the answer. Mm -hmm. The restaurants. Okay. Very good. Okay, we have all the answers correct. Okay, but the... The important thing is that we understand the uh, the directions, right? For example, uh, well, more, more than this is location. These are the locations. We understand the location. The location is como la ubicación, right? Uh, for example, it's on the corner of Elm Street and Maple Avenue. Okay, there is one. Uh, it is next to Princess Grocery Store. I think here in El Salvador, it's very difficult, right? To it's very difficult to to you to give uh, locations or directions. For example, where is the National University? ¿Cuál sería la la ubicación? Um, near and the hospital. Bloom. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> near the near the Bloom Maybe. hospital. Yes, uh -huh. but mm -hmm. and then is it no conoc el Bloom? Um another one? The pair of uh, la entrada. Uh -huh, of the entrance, depending on the entrance. Uh, the okay. entrance because mm -hmm. um, the direction uh, San Antonio uh, uh, San Antonio va uh, calle, ¿cómo sería? Street, street, street. 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 Uh -huh. ah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Then you can say the there is one entrance, there is one entrance on San Antonio Abad Street. Mm -hmm. And oh. another entrance on, what is the name yeah. of the other street? Diagonal Universitaria. And there is another entrance on Diagonal Universitaria, right? Yes. Okay. So then this is, for example, but some people, the problem is that sometimes we don't know the names of the, of the streets, right? For example, a, if I said, uh, where is a UCA? Uh, Boulevard. Uh, uh, street. Street. Uh, on. On los pros. On los pros. Depends on the trends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that yes depends on the entrance, but you can say. But the, let's say that the principal principal entrance is los Proceres, right? Los Proceres. But yes. but also what is more specific because los Proceres Boulevard is from, uh, eh, from what from uh, what yes. the name is it? From 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 Excel, uh, right? Torre from between, be, uh, no, Torre no, from. Mm -hmm. no. What is the name of that street? What is the name of the street? Yeah. It's across, across for uh, one link. It uh -huh. Loma, de, Loma de San Francisco Street. That's the name of the street. Yes. No, Loma I think it's, no. it's not, it's not Albert Einstein. No, it's Loma de San Francisco Street. Okay, then uh, it's yes. on the corner of, it's on the corner of Loma de San Francisco Street and yes. Los Proceres Boulevard. Yes. Okay. Then, then you have a better idea, right? Because Los Proceres Boulevard is from, let's say, uh, from Hipotecario Bank to Hermano Lejano, right? Mm -hmm. So then, mm -hmm. is is if you say, ah, it's on Los Proceres Boulevard, okay. But then if you say, mm -hmm. ah, it's on Loma de San Francisco Street, on the corner of, then mm -hmm. you have a better idea, okay? Mm -hmm. Near Torre Cuscatlan. Mm -hmm. So yeah, these are, remember, these are locations, right? Locations. University Uca, between... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, on Torre City mm -hmm. and 
Street Santa Elena. Santa Elena Street. Ajá. Yes. ¿Cuál es? No, 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 no. No. On Torre City. ¿Cómo se llama? El local de Wendy's. Burger King. Burger King. Wendy's. 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 Mm -hmm. Wendy's. Es que ah, esta okay. es la otra entrada. Ajá, <laughs> yeah, ok, yes, yes, ajá, Wendy's, Wendy's Street. Yes, that's mm -hmm. the other one. Wendy's. <laughs> so look, look uh -huh. yeah, Robert, so it depends, <laughs> depends, on, depends on the entrance that you, that you choose. Yes. Ok, so you see, this is, uh, that's why sometimes is uh, in Spanish, you have to think, ok, where, where is the UCA University? Well, it depends. If there are three, four, four, uh, no, three, right, three entrances. The one that oh. is on Los Proceres Boulevard, Yes. The one on the, the, the Wendy Street, what is the Wendy Street name? No. Eh, what is the name? The street is Santa Elena. Okay, Santa Elena. Uh, there is one on Santa Elena Street and another one on Cantabrico, right? Pasaje Cantabrico, right? It's on the mm -hmm. other side. It's the one that you yes. have behind. Mm -hmm. But this is only for, for pedestrians, okay? For people walking. Okay? Yes. That's the... Okay, in, in that case, you, that's how you give the directions. Okay, what about Metro Centro? What is Metro Centro? Depends. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, you can say uh, it's on Los Proceres Boulevard. Between Cross of Real, Real Intercontinental. Intercontinental. Uh, Cross uh -huh. from Intercontinental, Intercontinental. <laughs> uh, Hotel. Hotel. Between Sisimiles and... What is the name uh. of it? Sisi Miles and the other street. <laughs> the other. Yes. Okay. okay. From so now, eh, escuel, eh, Centro Cultural. Ajá, uh -huh. then also you can say there is an entrance, a cro entrance on Sisi mm -hmm. Street across from mm -hmm. Centro Cultural. Okay. Yes. So you see, we have to find a lot of, in Spanish, we have to look for a lot of references. Okay. Then uh, there are many is popular. Here, is here near near. Yes. Uh, Torre del Delis. Torre? Yes, uh, Torre uh, East. Uh, oh, okay, the uh, Social Security Here Tower. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes, the Torre uh, uh, Social Security Tower. Okay, so we always have to look for some popular reference, right, in, in Spanish to to give a name. For example, uh, what is a... Uh, a uh, one famous street in in San Miguel. They have the uh, Roosevelt Avenue, right? Roosevelt Avenue. And what is uh, another military route? The military, military route. route. The military route too. Another one, Orania. What is another popular street in San Miguel? You don't know? No. Okay. Never been to San Miguel. No. Okay, good. Okay, anybody from San Miguel here? No? No. Okay, good. And where are you from, uh, Urania? Originally. I'm from Chalchuapa City. Chalchuapa. Chalchuapa. Okay, Chalchuapa, yes. That's in Santa Ana, right? Ro Roswell Avenue. Roswell Avenue, yes, Roswell Avenue. Okay, where, where do they, uh, this is where they have the carnival, right? Roosevelt Avenue. Okay, good. Then these are, you know, uh, directions. And then we have this one. Continue with any. Now, in this session, participants will follow a conversation about a neighborhood. Then we have taken into account questions like how many, how much, with quantifiers. How many and how much. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation about a neighborhood. Hi again. This time we'll study how many and how much. Please notice how they ask questions and how they answer them. Remember, count nouns and non-count nouns make the difference. 
How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh, no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on. That's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. No, but it's pretty safe. Don't worry, okay? <laughs> Nothing's gonna happen. Okay. This is the a bad commercial. For In this session, participants will listen to a conversation about a neighborhood. Hi again. This time we'll study how many and how much. Okay. Please notice how they ask questions and how. Okay, see how we are connecting quantities and vocabulary to talk about uh, existence of things, right? In the previous uh, uh, exercise, we were talking if, about places, right? Is there a, okay, is there a restaurant? Is there a gas station? Is there a bookstore? Uh, is there a hotel or are there any hotels? And here, they are also using how many and how much, okay? Uh, for example, how many uh, restaurants are there? So you can also have a more specific uh, information using how many and how much. Now, listen again, just for the pronunciation and pay attention to the use, how they use, how many and how much. They answer them. Remember, count nouns and non-count nouns make the difference. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh, no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on. That's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. Okay. Good. So then uh, check the expressions. No problem about vocabulary. Here we have, how do you like your new apartment? When we talk about how do you like is what's your opinion? Okay, what do you think about your new apartment? Okay, how do you like your new car? What is the opinion of your new car? How do you like your new job? Uh, what's your opinion about your new job? How do you like your, uh, let's say, how do you like El Salvador? What's your opinion about El Salvador? Uh, how do you like your, let's say, uh, what else? Uh, your dress, your shoes, okay, anything. And then you can say, oh, they're okay, it's okay, oh, they're wonderful, or depending if it is plural or singular, right? It's wonderful, it's great, I love it, okay? And then, uh, let me see, very convenient is a place or something that is according to your demands according to your standards, right? Say distance, price, location, okay, safety. It's very convenient. Then, okay, this one, they say, is there much noise? Okay, they want to know the quantity, okay, the level, the level of noise if it is a noisy place. For example, you know where, uh, where I live, there isn't noise at all, okay? So sometimes you, you feel like if you, are in a, if you are alone, you don't hear much noise. Noise, noise. Noise, yes, not real noise. at all, not real. Mm -hmm. Don't make too much noise, okay? Then uh, there isn't any, uh, let me see what else. 
how many restaurants are there. Then around, okay, there is just uh, an excellent Korean place. Just around the corner is Justo La Vuelta, right? Just around the corner. Uh, what about parking? There aren't many parking garages. Okay, this is common in New York. Okay, encontrar un lugar de parqueo is difficult. And then, is there much crime? Okay, si hay, eh, how do you call this? Criminalidad, right? Is there much crime? Then, no, it's pretty safe. Hold on. That's my car alarm. Okay, I call you back later. Good. Then, this is the, the use of... Uh, I'll call you back later. Okay, uh, let me see here. Um, Flora, can you please read the, this, this objective here? Um, In this session. Read? Yes, please. Okay. In this session, session, we will take a look at quantifying to ask question and give out answer. Okay, correct, thank you. Uh, look at quantifiers to ask question. Remember quantifiers are words that give, that give us an idea, okay, of the quantity. Sometimes it's very exact and sometimes it's very general, okay? Usually it's general information. When you, when you say few, several, uh, some, any, okay, many, much, okay, it's general information, but we get an idea, right? Now listen. Hello to all of you. In this session, we will take a look at quantifiers to ask questions and give out answers. Get ready to listen and take notes if you need to. Quantifiers. How many and how much? Count nouns. Are there many restaurants? Yes, there are a lot. Yes, there are a few. No, there aren't many. No, there aren't any. No, there are none. How many restaurants are there? There are 10 or 12. Non-count nouns. Is there much crime? Yes, there's a lot. Yes, there's a little. No, there isn't much. No, there isn't any. No, there's none. How much crime is there? There's a lot of street crime. We can say that when nouns in question are count nouns, we can answer using a lot a few, many, any, none. This will depend on how many there really are. Remember, a lot is a big amount and none is nothing. When nouns in question are non-count nouns, we can use a lot, a little, much, any, none. Remember that when we talk about non-count nouns, both questions and answers are singular. There's a lot of street crime. We can say that when nouns in question... Yes, there's a little. No. Okay. Take a look at the expressions and see if you have any questions. Count nouns, plurals. Okay, count nouns. Non-count nouns... Singular. For singular, uh, let's say, uh, things that we cannot count, right? Yes, things that don't have plural. Yes. Coffee, sugar, you don't say coffees, you don't say sugars, salts, okay, flowers, no. 
you say only sugar, coffee, flour. Look at the expressions. These are the, the quantifiers are a lot. For example, look at a lot is in the count and also in the non count. Few is in the counts, but a little, a little is the for non counts. Okay, you don't say I have a few coffee. I have a few coffee in my cup. No, I have nothing. Little. I have a little, yes. I have a little coffee, you know, I have a little little bit of coffee, or I have little coffee in my cup. Okay, many, count nouns, much. Any in both, okay, any in both. None in both. Okay, a lot, any and none, you can use with the two groups. But uh, a few only with count, a little only with count, okay, many with count, much with non-count, like that, okay? Only two. Mm -hmm. But there are others, I must, okay? Ah, Pero okay. acá está solo este grupito, right? Pero está, por ejemplo, several, eh, a great deal of. Eh, then we have also well, some, que no está aparece aquí, but some also you can use it in affirmative sentences. Okay, this is one thing. And the other is this. You can see a lot, the same a little, much, any, none. Okay. Any questions? No, all clear. It's all clear, okay. Singular. Okay, now you tell me, for example, things that, uh, for example, how many uh, think about places, okay, that you have near, near your office, near your house, uh, for example, or near the, um, I don't know, near the, let's say, your hometown, el lugar donde ustedes nacieron, right? Also, if you can remember, okay. For example, um, where, uh, where are you from originally? You can think about, okay, I'm from, I don't know, from Santana, right? And then you say, okay, there is a, you can say there is a church, okay, near, uh, mm -hmm. near my house where I was born, okay? Uh, in present, in these days, you can say, for example, there is, let me see, one, two, three, four. Okay, there are four gas stations near my house, okay? There are four gas stations near my house. This is very specific. But you can say, okay, there are some. No, there are more, four, five, six gas stations. Okay, so okay, there are many okay there are many gas stations near my house okay so six gas stations is ya son muchas verdad right eh, todo esto relativo right is relative okay because six gas stations for for one person okay i think it's many okay but if you say only for example there are two oh there are there are there are a few there are a few gas stations Okay, uh, near my house. Okay, only only two. Okay, but six, seven is many. Okay, think about places just using a lot, or you can also think about uh, anything. <laughs> Suppose I would think, oh, there are a lot of mosquitoes in my house. <laughs> okay, there are a lot of mosquitoes in my house. Okay, un montón, okay. Then you say there are a lot of mosquitoes in my house. There are um, there are many there are many birds. There are many birds. There are uh, a lot of trees near my house. Okay. 
Uh, also, you can say there are a lot of uh, there are a lot of frogs. Bastante rana is up, right? There are a lot of frogs. It's correct. I like little sugar in my coffee. I put, huh? I put little sugar to my coffee. Okay, not too much. Mm -hmm. Okay. What else? Piensen en oraciones usando a lot, a few, little, a little, much. For example, you can say there isn't much, eh, there isn't much sugar in the kitchen. Okay, ya no hay mucha, ya no hay mucha azúcar, right? There isn't much, uh, what? There isn't much flour, harina, flour. flour. Okay, you can use that one. Oh. Teacher, there isn't yes, Norma. water. Uh -huh. are... <laughs> yeah, sorry, Norma, there, go ahead. There are many cats on the roof in the <laughs> night. <laughs> yes, but not in my house, thank God. Okay, there are many my cats. House. Okay, there are many, many cats on the roof. Okay, in there the night. There are many cats. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, that's a good example. There are many cats in the roof. Okay, on the roof in my house. Okay. You see, for the you can use this one. There are many. There are a lot. For many specific things. I mean, for many uh, things that we do every day. For example, there are many things that we have to learn in English. There is a lot of vocabulary, okay, that we have to practice, right? <laughs> so then these are some, some expressions that you use. Robert, one sentence. Okay. Teacher, it's correct say there are some noise at night. There is. <clears throat> mm -hmm. uh, for example, you say there is, uh, repeat, repeat your sentence, please. There are some noise, noise at night. Okay, there is uh, noises maybe. But uh, usually say there is some noise. There is a lot of, there is a lot of noise. Oh. Uh, oh, there is a lot of a strange noise. Okay, uh -huh, uh -huh. but you can say noises. So, uh, so there are those noises. So ruidos, right? The strange noises. Yes. Okay. No problem, Norma. What else? There are a lot of dogs in the street. There are a lot of cars in the street. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's true. What else? There are a lot, a lot, uh, bank. Banks. Near uh, in my work. Near my work, near my office. Near yes. my work. Okay, good. Would any have one sentence? Okay. Mm. There are many convenient, 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 convenient store near of my house. Yes, that's correct. There, um, and there are a lot of trees in my house. Okay, there are a lot of trees in my house. There aren't any drugstore near of my house. Oh my God, that's bad. 
There are many squirrels in yeah. the trees and in the power lines. Yes, okay. And, and there are a lot of birds on my neighborhood. Okay, there are a lot of birds in my neighborhood. That's good. Okay, very ecological. Mm -hmm. Sounds like that. Yeah. Okay, very good. Excellent. Now, what else? There aren't any parks. There aren't any? Any park. parks. Parks, uh-huh. Near my work. Near my office. Office. Mm -hmm. Yes, the sweater office, uh-huh. What else? Teacher, what's the pronunciation are the yes? Squirrels. 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 Okay. Yes. My goodness. Don't tell me you had squirrels near your house. Squirrels. Mm -hmm. There are many squirrels in the tree and in the power line walking. Uh -huh. wow. uh -huh. Yes, they, <laughs> they, that's their, their, their favorite place to walk. Yes, that's true. There are a lot of cats in my house. Cats, cats in your house. Uh -huh. Yes, not because you like cats. No, no, no. no. And the, on the roof. On yes. the roof. Okay. On yes. the roof. <laughs> Similar to Norma. Norma has a lot of cats. <laughs> okay, okay, good. All right. Then, uh, well, you see, this is one practice of vocabulary, okay, things that we can use and say. Okay. Pero no me voy a ir hoy si Zuli no nos dice por lo menos unos dos trabalenguas de los de ayer. Huh? Zuli, ready? Um, el primero. If solo de Peter... Peter, porque ahí está la pronunciación de un verbo en pasado. If Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers, where's the pack? 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 Where's the pack of pickled peppers that Peter Piper picked? That's difficult. Okay. Only the first line. The first line. Okay. Todo vean la primera línea. If Peter Piper. Peter Piper. Ay, ay, ay. ¿A dónde lo mandó ese? En el chat, Aguanta. yesterday. Last night. What's yesterday. Yes. Es, que, es que tengo el de Sao, Sao. Ah, aquí está. Very, el very board. board, el, de board. Arriba, el de arribita. If Peter Piper. The first. <clears throat> Only the first line. If Peter Piper picked a pack of the Copa first. Boy, teacher. Boy, boy, boy. Tenemos que hacer un round invicto sin que nadie se equivoque para irme. Okay. Okay, one, one round. One round. Ready, Suli? El de, el de, el de Susie Shine? No. If Peter... El que dice... Ah, is, if, if, P, is Peter P, is Peter P, no. Oh my God, if, vamos a amanecer hoy. Is Peter <laughs> Piper Picket a pack of pickle, peppers, peppers. Peppers, 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 okay. Peppers. Vamos a ver, okay, good. Now, eh, <laughs> Urania. Only the first line. Okay. <laughs> if Peter Piper picked a pick of pickled peppers. Peppers, okay. Peck peppers. Peck peppers. and peppers. Okay, peck and peppers. peppers. Don't forget, peppers. okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Teacher. Yes. Again. El, el de, ese otra vez. Yo, yo lo quiero decir. <laughs> But wait, wait, after the photo, okay, go ahead. If Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. Okay, very yeah, good, okay. Good. Peter Piper. The final. Yes, okay. Okay, Robert. <laughs> Robert. Okay, Robert. 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 Okay, Robert. 
Okay, it's Peter Piper. Um, I and um, where is it? It's in the in the WhatsApp group. We say it's Peter Piper. Yes, but but um, where where is where is? It? Uh, it's in an, in this one, a screenshot. In the, in, the, in the chat. In, uh -huh, the, in the chat. In the chat. No, but in the in the WhatsApp. Is that? WhatsApp. Ah, in WhatsApp. Yes. Okay. I'm not sure on there, right? It says. In the stand number ah, three. Okay. Uh, the the if, Peter. If uh huh. Okay. Is if Peter. Piper. If Peter Piper pickle a pick of pickle paper papers. Peppers. Peppers. Uh, were the pick of pickle papers that Peter Picker picked. Okay, okay, there you go. Para mañana me tienen que mañana sí lo tienen que memorizar, okay? Suli. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> okay. Is If Peter is Peter Piper picker a pick of pickle papers. Pickle papers. Peppers. Pickle papers. Peppers. 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 Okay, uh, Arely. If Peter Piper pickled a pack of pickled papers. Pickled papers. Pickled papers. Pickled Dice que en este, en este, <laughs> esta línea la escogí porque si ven en el If Peter Piper picked, ahí está uno de los verbos que ya pronunciamos, ok, con la T. Uh, a pack pirate. of pickled es la segunda, es la segunda columna. De los verbos que es cuando se pronuncia con de pickled, peppers. Ok, so ahí están dos de los verbos, picked and pickled. Picked and pickled. Ok, Freddy, the last one, and then we go. Is Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled pepper? Wow, okay, let's wow. go. Yeah, we're gonna do it. Yes, okay. <laughs> let's close the shop. <laughs> let's close the shop. Thank you. Okay, no, mañana, mañana sí vamos todos, okay? Así que se aprenden las tres líneas, son tres líneas, okay? And then with the pronunciation, and then tomorrow we practice it. Okay, people, okay. have a good night. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Okay, bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bravo, Freddy. Okay, yes. Good night.